Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of, um, excuse me, excuse me, I'm talking to a door right now, excuse me, play the intro, thank you, you're getting a raise. Boop, trying new makeup and hoping it doesn't suck. Lottie London edition. So you guys may know if you've been around here for a while, uh, congratulations, because we've been through a lot, like doing our makeup with chicken nuggets, doing lots of weird things over the Panny D. But if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I tried Lottie London many, many years ago when they first launched. And I really, really like a lot of their products, but they recently came out with a whole load of new products. So today I figured instead of doing like a full first impressions and like a full first impressions, I thought we could basically chuck every single Lottie London product that there ever was and give or take on our face and I'll let you guys know what's good. I'll let you guys know what kind of sucks. If you guys are new here, then basically I do these videos a lot where essentially I just try everything out so you guys don't have to. And if anything's good, I'll let you know. If anything sucks, I will let you know. So let's get into the video. It's a little strawberry moment today. Also, um, someone who owns a store, I'm guessing their name's Victoria, called Victoria Lux Reworked. I'll link it down below. Um, they sent this to me in my PO box and I'm obsessed. You guys will know, I I love my Louis Vuitton padlock necklace. I also got a Louis Vuitton like handcuff necklace from my friend for my 30th. And she sent this little Prada heart to me. I was like, for me, really? But um, yeah, if you guys like this sort of jewelry, it's like chunky kind of like designer rework jewelry, check her out because I am obsessed with this. It literally arrived today and I love it. Okay, I am so sweaty today. As you can probably tell by my face, these lights are not helping. So let's get some makeup on to make me feel even more claustrophobic. Now, before we get into the makeup part of the video, I wanna let you guys know that this portion of the video is sponsored by Dermatica, AKA the best skincare product you will ever put on your face. And I am living proof of that. Like, do you think my skin looks like this from eating salads and drinking water all day? Absolutely not. So if you guys don't know, Dermatica create personalized, customized skincare for your skin, no one else's. And it is the easiest thing to set up. All you need to do is take a few selfies on their website and then answer a few of their questions and you will get your own personalized, customized skincare for your skin delivered straight to your door. And Dermatica is not here to mess around. So whatever it is that your skin needs, whether it's anti-aging, dark spots, acne, acne scars, whatever it is, they will help come up with your own special formula that will help Help your skin. Like I promise you, you will notice the difference when using Dermatica very, very quickly. And the reason Dermatica works so well is because obviously it's customized for your skin by the dermatology team, but they actually include ingredients that you cannot just get like off the shelf. And I know what you're thinking, sounds hella expensive, right? but it's not. You guys know I had to come in with a discount code. So if you use my code, which is currently on screen now and also down below, you will get your first month for just £2.90, which is cheaper than just about everything these days, takeaway coffees, meal deals, whatever it is, less than £3 for personalized skincare that is actually going to do the job. Like it's not just going to sit on your skin and you're going to be like, is this going to work? It's actually going to work. And so once you've done your quiz and you've sent over your selfies and everything, which literally just takes a few minutes, you will get this little tube delivered straight to your door and you're probably thinking, how is this gonna change my skin? But trust me, like this little tube is very little, but don't underestimate it because the ingredients inside are exactly what your skin needs. And there's no faff when it comes to using it either. All you do is you just take a little pump of it. That's literally all you need. So this tube will last you at least one month. Usually I tend to find it lasts a little bit longer. You pop that on your skin as your last step of your routine and you're good to go. That's literally it. And then over time you will see your skin improving and you'll be like, I see why Steph talks about this stuff so much. Like regardless of whether they ever work with me again, I will tell you, I will die on this hill. Dermatica is dope. So if you wanna save some money, then make sure you use my code and click the link down below in the description box and get your own personalized, customized skincare. Cause like how bougie is that? Like, don't you just love modern technology? You have like customized skincare now that you can literally just get delivered to your door. It's insane. So check out the link down below, use my code and enjoy some really great skin, courtesy of Dermatica. Okay, let's do some makeup. So I have a lot of things to throw on my face today. Like I said, some of them I have already tried, so I'll be able to let you guys know my thoughts on them straight away, but some of them are new products. The first product, is new, it's this little bubble primer here. It's called the Bubble Tea Primer, and apparently it's like hydrating, but like, can you guys see? It's got little bubbles in there. Okay, so it comes out as like a little jelly, and the little pink like bubbles kind of like explode when you dispense it. 
Oh. It smells like watermelon. Yum. Doesn't smell too strongly of watermelon, but like when you first get it out of the pot, it does have like a faint smell of it. And like that really nice artificial smell. Okay, so it feels like it's got a little bit of a tack to it, as you can probably hear. Can you hear that? Which should hopefully mean my makeup will stick to my face. But yeah, that feels pretty good so far. Fun packaging, looks really kind of cute and it smells nice applies nicely, blends in nicely, all of that. So first impressions, pretty good. So now we're gonna move on to brows. Now I have two different products for my brows. This is their Mega Brow like shaping wax stuff, which I've tried before, but they recently launched their Mega Brow Brow Glaze. Now I'm gonna see what this looks like on my brows. Obviously I normally like slick my brows up a little bit. If it doesn't quite work to slick them up, I'm gonna slick them up with this stuff because I know this works. So I'm gonna start off with the Mega Brow. I'm gonna brush my brows up with this stuff. And I don't know if this is gonna slick my brows down for the kind of brow that I like. I like the little tiny spoolie that it comes with. I don't think this is gonna stick my brows down because I, yeah, look, I need a lot is, I'm just gonna brush them up a bit and brush them up at the front using this stuff. And then I'm gonna go in with the wax to like slick them up at the ends. If you do want something with more hold, I can tell you that this stuff does really, really work. So this is called their Mega Brow Brow Shaping Wax. And you just grab a spoolie and you really wiggle it around. And I like that it's got a little mirror in the compact as well. And I'm gonna slick the ends of my brows up using this stuff here. You can see that like fully slicks them down to my face. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you guys prefer more of like a tinted brow gel, I personally haven't tried this because I don't usually tend to like more of a tinted brow gel, but they do do a tinted version, which I assume is just like this, but with a bit of a tint to it. So looks like this, similar sort of idea, comes with a little spoolie as well, but it's just called tinted. So next I'm gonna use their skin tint, which I really, really love. If you guys like more of like a sheer base, this stuff is really, really good. And obviously like everything from Lottie London is super affordable. So this is called their Velvet Skin Tint Foundation. And I got it in the shade medium number 25. I used this a while ago. I feel like I'm maybe a little bit more tan than when I first got this. So hopefully it looks okay. If not, we're gonna be lagging ourselves in bronzer. But yeah, I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on to my little Coca Cosmetic sponge. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can necessarily tell, maybe you can tell from the macro here, but it just evens out your skin a little bit. Obviously it's sheer, it does build up quite nicely, but it's never gonna be like a super full coverage foundation. But like if you compare this side of my face to this side, I only applied the tiniest amount as well. You can see this side is a lot more even, still looks like my skin, but this side you've got a bit of redness, a little bit of dullness. But yeah, the way this makes your skin look is so good. Like this goes viral on TikTok all of the time and for good reason, because it really is such a nice skin tint. Obviously it's the first time you're using it with this primer as well. And yeah, it still looks really, really nice. I like that combo. It's just even me out. Nice. Okay, I'll be honest, the next product I'm a little bit, what's the word, skeptical about because it's a concealer pot in the shade light. I think they only do two different shades. It's like an under eye brightness, not like a complete concealer, but it's like super peachy. Now I know under eye brighteners usually are peachy. So um, I'm gonna try this. I don't know how it's gonna work. I am probably gonna have to cover up this little spot here because it's been annoying me for like a week now. But um, yeah, this is called the Bright Bounce Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Okay, so it's not a concealer, it's a corrector, which makes sense with why it's like so peachy and everything. But still, I never use these sort of products. So I'm a little bit skeptical, especially because I'm just using a skin tint. And you guys know, normally I like wear like 27 layers of concealer under my eyes. So anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering about this anyway. I'm gonna carry on blabbering about other stuff, but let's try this. So I'm gonna use my little BK Beauty A506 brush and I'm going to douse. Oh, it's not as, oh, I picked up so much product there. It's actually a lot more creamy than I thought it was gonna be. But if I show you guys the color there, you can see it is very, very light. So let's pop it under my eyes here, especially where I get the most darkness. And I'm just gonna feather it out a little bit. That actually doesn't look as scary as what I thought it was going to. Um, should we do like a side-by-side -side comparison? Let me take a bit more. I say let me as if you guys are gonna stop me. <laughs> I've already done it by the time you guys have seen this video. You can't, you can't stop me. I'm gonna take my teeny tiny little Coco Cosmetic. That, that sponge, the Coco sponge. It's giving me a lot of reflection. Um, it's giving me a decent amount of coverage. If I like fully, hello, I'm gonna do my videos like this from now on. If I like fully just duck my head down, you can see it has given me a bit of coverage here when the light's not bouncing off it. 
Blends out really nicely as well. Normally when I try these sort of concealer pots or corrector pots, they do look a little bit matte and a little bit thick, but this one actually blends out really, really well. So it's actually not bad. I would probably use this as another layer to my cake face. Um, just to get like the mo I might even do that in a second. I'm gonna do that in a second. So they do do, do do, an actual concealer. I'm like 12, I'm like a 12 year old boy. They do do an actual concealer, help me. They do do, shut up, an actual concealer. Um, I, I went to go and get my other one, then I stopped myself because it was in the black packaging, now it's in white packaging, and then I realized that I've probably had that now for like six years, uh, so I just said no to that, but I'm pretty sure they still do that concealer, and I remember quite liking it. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't like one of my favorites, but it was still a pretty good concealer, especially for the drugstore. Do I have a concealer here to throw all over my face? That is the question. Yes. I'm gonna take some of my Rare Beauty concealer, uh, this one's in the shade 220C. And I just kind of want to see how it looks with concealer over the top to see if it looks even more flawless. And also to kind of see how it works with other concealers on top. Yeah, not bad, you know. I feel like that's really brightened everything. Normally I go in with like three layers of this stuff because this isn't the most like full coverage concealer ever. But if I go in with just a tiny bit more, which you guys will know is not a lot of concealer for me, I normally like douse my entire face in it, but just this little bit in my inner corner, you can see it's brightened it up loads. Yeah, look, my inner corner there, that's brightened it up so much and just gotten rid of some of the blueness there. So I do like this product, will I use it that often? Maybe not, because it's not something I tend to use too often anyway, but I still rate it, I still think it's pretty good. All right, I'm just gonna, do a bit more concealer on this side and cover up this spot because it's haunting me. Oh, I'm gonna get ya. So before I go and do my powder, which by the way, if you're a real OG, you will know what powder I'm about to use because I love it. So pause the video and leave a comment as to what it is in the comment section down below. But before I do that, I'm gonna go in with one of their liquid blushes here. So this is called the Sweet Blush Liquid Blush and I have it in the shade, I think it's called like, blushing, yeah, blushing pink. So this isn't like one of their new Wist products, but I think they launched this maybe a couple of months ago. It's actually a really nice color. And then blend it out with my sponge. You can see it slightly. There's a little bit of color on my cheeks right now, but I'm gonna just take some straight from the tube and cover my face in it basically, because I wanna be able to actually see my blush today, if that's gonna be possible. I only have one color of the blush. If I did have like a deeper shade, I would use that because I feel like if you want something more vibrant, it's probably better to use more of a vibrant color. It's very natural. I don't mind it as someone that doesn't use like that much blush too often anyway. But if you want something more intense, then you might want either a deeper color or just a completely different blush in general. But I mean, you can see here. Can you? I can see it in person, but on camera, I'm not sure if you can see too much of it there. It's made me look slightly more alive. I'm like one foot in the grave, one foot out of it. Um, it blends out nicely. So again, if there are like different colors, maybe some more vibrant, I could say that it blends out nicely. It's just not the most pigmented blush in the world, which again, as someone that's not like too into blush, I would probably like it to be a bit more pigmented, but I might try a bit more in a second once I've powdered everything down. So let me know if you're right here. One of my favorite powders of all time, the Lottie London Ready Set Go Powder, only I'm using this one in the shade Warm Translucent. So they have Normal Translucent and Warm Translucent, but now that I've got a tan, I'm using this one a bit more at the moment. But yeah, any of you that have been around here for a while will know just how much I love this powder. It's honestly, like my favorite is the Laura Mercier powder, but if you want something that's more budget friendly, this stuff is like under a fiver and it's so, so good. Like look at how flawless it's made my under eye there. This under eye looks better than this under eye, which never normally happens. Normally, like I put powder on and I'm like, oh, why have you done that to my face? But this actually gives you like a nice lift. It sets you in place, but it doesn't look matte. It's just, more people need to talk about this powder. I swear to God. Like if there was ever a Lottie London product that needs to go viral on TikTok, it's this one, okay? Oh, this whole time I've realized this light's not on. Let's see if it makes a difference. I thought something looked a bit off. That's better. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, love this shit. So good, please try it. And again, another product you guys have probably heard me talk about before is their pressed powder. So this is just called the Ready, Set, Go Pressed Powder. This one's in the shade, again, Warm Translucent. So it's a similar sort of get up. 
I feel like if anything, this one is a little bit more pigmented. Obviously it's a lot more handy if you're on the go, but maybe if I just like pop it around my brow here, where you can still see I've got a little bit of my microblading scar. It does add a little bit more coverage, obviously because it is pressed. And I feel like it's a little bit more brightening as well because it's probably a bit more pigmented. I'm now gonna use their Sunburst Bronzer, which looks like this, just to add a little bit more warmth to my skin. Now, if I remember correctly, this one was a little bit too light for me. So I need to go in with a bit more of a heavy hand, but you can still see it's adding quite a nice, almost like contour there. It's not like super, super warm toned. So you could probably get away with using this kind of like, not like fully as a contour, but if you kind of want to do like a bit of everything in one, you could probably just like swipe this onto your cheeks around where you would normally put your contour. And it's got enough of a cool tone in it to help contour your cheeks a bit without it looking muddy or anything. But yeah, I'm just gonna warm myself up a little bit with this. One product that I used to swear by that I haven't featured in this video because they don't sell it anymore and I'm gutted is one of their foundation sticks, Lottie Dundon. If you, if you happen to watch this video, please bring them back. Your foundation sticks were so good, especially like, I don't remember what the color was called, but I think it was just called like warm or something. And it was honestly one of the best contouring bronzing sticks ever and again super affordable so please please bring that back i beg you or if you have any like leftover stock just let me know i will buy all of them because i love that stuff we need highlighter and um <laughs> i actually don't know where my like glitter bomb highlighter is that they do it's like a fenty dupe i had it recently but i honestly don't know where it's gone i literally looked in every single one of my drawers can't find it so instead I'm gonna use one of their body highlighters. I'm gonna use it on my body as well, but this is called the Body Glow Illuminating Body Highlighter. So I just figured if it's good enough for like my shoulders and stuff, we can put it on our face. I've put worse things on my face, like that chicken nugget that time. So um, we're gonna do that. Okay, so yeah, this is the Body Glow. Apparently it's transfer proof. Um, I think they have like a few different shades of this. I've got light medium. Let's try it. I'm just gonna use this powder brush just cause I'm gonna wash my brushes later if I remember. This is my shoulder. Everyone say hello, hello. I never, honestly, like I have so many of these sort of products, but I never use them because I can't be bothered. Like you're lucky if I moisturize my body half the time, let alone put in shiny stuff. I put the shiny stuff on my face. I like, as long as this part looks all right, I, you guys barely see any of this down here. So just can't be bothered half the time. So normally I can sort of like, see what it looks like over my tattoos because it can normally look all right on my actual skin, but then when it goes over my tattoos, it can kind of look a little bit like makeup-y. And I actually don't feel like this looks too bad. Like, yeah, you can obviously see it's kind of like sheared out my tattoos a little bit, but actually this is one of the better ones that I've used. It's blending out nicely. It says that it's transfer proof. Let's see. I have my old sweatpants here that are black. I don't know what else to use really, but let's like do a little wipe. Not to can you see this? Not totally, I'm just showing you the bottom of my trousers right now. Not totally transfer proof, but I will take it. Like normally these things say that they're transfer proof, but they never are. But this one's actually all right. I mean, to be fair, it does look really, really good on camera. I actually quite like that. Okay, let's try it on our face. Not sure if you're necessarily supposed to use it on your face, but I'm going to anyway, because I don't have another highlighter to try out. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on this brush and I'm gonna blend it out with a sponge. Hopefully this works, please. Please, I'm just gonna keep on blending. Okay, that's actually not bad. To be fair, um, obviously I wish, I honestly, I was looking for probably close to an hour for the like glittery highlights that they do. Cause I've got the like silvery one and I've also got the goldy colored one. And they're not really my thing because they are like super glittery and I'm not into like really intensely glittery highlighters. So if I was gonna be using that, I would tell you guys that I didn't really like it that much just cause it is, super glittery. Like if you really like the um, Fenty like glittery highlighters that they do, it's very, very similar to that. So you can save your money and get that instead, but it's just not really my jam. But yeah, I'll take that. It's added a little bit of sheeniness to my skin. Obviously it's probably not really meant for your face, but YOLO. But yeah, on the body, I actually might start using this, especially for filming, just on my shoulders. Again, like here, downwards, boob downwards. I've, I've got like hairy knees because I haven't lasered them properly. I'm sure I've got hairy toes, um, but you don't need to know about any of that. As long as this looks okay, that's fine. So um, 
If you see my body looking hella shiny in upcoming videos, just know that I'm using this stuff because actually it looks really nice and makes me look way more healthy. I'm gonna put that in this drawer and I'm gonna use that because I actually did really like that. We're now gonna move on to another one of my favorite products from Lottie London. You guys know I love a fake freckle. This one is a little bit gammy. I have another one in my car as well, but I love their freckle tint. I, to be honest, my favorites are the obviously Freck, but that's ridiculously expensive. I really like the She Glam one actually that I tried out recently. I love the misguided or like marker pen. And then I also love this one as well. This one's a little bit more natural. You can see I like left it on my skin then for a few seconds. And even when I pat it in, it is quite sheer. But this is a really, really good dupe for the like actual like original Freck. So please don't go spending like 23 pounds or whatever it is on a tiny, tiny amount of essentially sheer brown eyeliner. You can literally just use this. But yeah, I really like this stuff. They also do some metallic ones for like festivals and stuff. They do like a gold one and a silver one. You could probably create some nice little makeup looks with that, especially doing like around your eyes and stuff. But yeah, the OG freckle tint is really, really nice. I do really like this stuff. I actually need to get another one soon. All right, now we're gonna move on to one of their newer products. This is the Stay Matte AF Setting Spray. I'm not normally a matte setting spray kind of girl, but there are a few that I do sometimes like, but let's give this a go. It's got a nice mister and you get 80 ml of product, which I feel like is quite a lot. It's got a very like subtle scent to it. But yeah, the mister looks pretty good. Oh, and as you can see, I did add in a couple of dots on my face because this spot just, it just wanted to hang out today. So we've made it center stage. Looks pretty good. Nothing settled in any area. And if anything, I feel like it's kind of like refreshed my skin a little bit, made it look a little bit more dewy. So um, I actually really quite like that. And the scent is like there when you first spray it, but it doesn't linger. So thumbs up for that one. Guys, the next product I am so excited for because I've already swatched it on my hands and you guys know how I feel about a brow pen. I used to love like brow pens and stuff, which Lottie London do do. I've tried one of these before. This one's all sealed up, but I've tried these before and they're good. And I have it somewhere. They also have these arch rival like microblading pens, which have like the four nibs or whatever it is to create brow strokes. But I personally prefer one of these. I don't usually tend to get on with those sort of pens, but honestly, this color, I got the dark brown one. It's got like one of the like Kat Von D sort of nibs, if you guys know what that's like. Is my camera focusing? Why is my camera not focusing? Dude, I hate technology. I hate it, I hate it. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, I was showing you the swatches of this here. I love these kind of pens. This looks like a good color for me. It doesn't look too warm or anything. So I'm gonna fill in the tail of my brows here. Please be good. Just doing a few little strokes. Oh. Mm, this might be the one. The nib's a little bit thicker than the other ones that I use, but as long as I use it really, really lightly. Ooh, I can definitely get that better, but I'm learning with this little thing here. Oh yes, I'm so into that. Okay, let's do, let me show you guys in the macro as well. Let's see this side. This is my bad eyebrow. Oh, that's a good color. Okay, I'm gonna like get to grips with this little nib here because the nib at the end is really, really fine. It's just, you wanna make sure that you're not pressing it down too much, but I'm really into that. Okay, this might actually be a new favorite. Okay, next I'm gonna do lips because I have so many lip products to show you. So I'm just gonna try and whiz through them. So again, some of these are new. This is the Oil Slick Nourishing Lip Oil and this one is in the scent. I think it's scented Blueberry Kiss, so. Ooh, it smells like a lip oil or a lip balm that I used to use when I was like seven. Feels nice. Not usually much of a lip oil girl unless it's literally just for like hydrating my lips. Feels good, doesn't feel sticky, smells good. Nice, if you like a lip oil, okay. Wipe it off. Okay, next I have the Glossed Smile Brightener Clear Lip Gloss Oil. And I don't know if you guys can see here, but this is like blue. And again, I used to use a blue lip gloss. I think it might've been from like Soap and Glory or something years ago before they even did like proper makeup. They just did those like plumping lip glosses, but it smelled like mint. So I'm wondering if this one will. Oh, it does. Oh my God, this is like reliving my youth. Okay, we're gonna do a side by side here. I'm gonna smile. Hopefully I don't have food in my teeth. Ding. These are my teeth right now. Ta-da, ta-da. So apparently this is gonna brighten up the look of my teeth because it's blue. So it's gonna like counteract the color of my teeth. Color theory, whatever, let's try it. Right, so obviously it looks blue in the tube. 
doesn't actually look blue once it's on your lips when you sort of like blend it out. Ta-da! Why do I feel like that actually kind of worked? I can't obviously see the before and after here, but does it work? Do a side by side? I feel so awkward just being like, <laughs> hey ladies and men and everything in between. I feel like that actually worked. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm sure by the time I see this video edited and everything, I'll be like, didn't work, hun. But I kind of feel like it did a little bit. We'll see in the final edit, I guess. Let me know what you guys think. Kind of tastes a little bit like toothpaste, so not bad. Okay, take three. Don't you just love how professional I am in these videos? Just wiping it like on my leg. So I've got two different colored lip products here. I've got one of their Slay All Day Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is in different packaging to what I used to have it as. Again, I tried these literally years ago. So I'm curious to see if they've actually like changed the formula or whatever, because I did used to really like them. But I also have their Cheeky Kiss Cream Lipstick and Blush Stick. Should have read this before. Could have used this as a bit of blush as well, but these are really, really cute. Let me just show you guys what the packaging's like. Look at this. Let me just squidge it up a little bit. Bit anticlimactic now, isn't it? Look, it's a little hot. That's so cute. Let's see how pigmented they are. Oh, very actually. I wasn't really expecting them to be that pigmented. I did also just remember that I have one of their Plumped AF Sheer Plumping Lip Glosses. So I'm going to try that first before I do anything else. Oh, it smells like sour. Just smells sour. It's just their clear one. I'm just going to let that settle on my lippies for a second. But I'm amazed by how pigmented these are. This one here is in the shade Just My Type. I'm just gonna wait here for a second to see if my lips suddenly like quadruple in size. Whoa, getting a little bit of spice. Okay, this is definitely one of those like spicy plumping lip glosses, but it seems to be working. My lips are now a lot more red. Uh, so now we're gonna cover them up with concealer because I'm gonna apply lip product, so. Nice knowing you, red lips. So I think for my eyes, I'm gonna use this palette here because I've not tried this one yet. So I kind of want to do something that will work with that. I know this will. I don't know. I'm just going to try the liquid lipstick and then I'll just wipe it off in a second. But I just want to show you guys it quickly. Actually, I think it's going to be quite pale. This is in the shade Slay All Day Squad. Oh my God, that's like concealer lips. Damn, if you like concealer lips, this is your color. I would need some kind of lip liner for this. Not sure if this color's for me. It's kind of like blending into the rest of my skin. Yeah, the formula, from what I can tell anyway, seems to be pretty similar. I think the doe foot's the same as well, actually. Maybe they've just like changed the outer packaging, but these liquid lipsticks, from what I know, are actually good. This color, maybe not. I'm gonna go and wipe this off before it dries down and I have a ball ache of trying to get that off. And then we're gonna try the other stuff and maybe put this in the center. Okay, let's use this cute little heart lipstick. I think I'm gonna use the shade called Swipe Right, which is a little bit more neutral because I am gonna add a little bit of lip liner in a second. There it is, okay. Let's see, I like this though, because you've got like a little, you can just go down. It's a little Cupid's bow tracker thing. Let me just swatch it on my hand so you guys can see the actual color. That is a nice color. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop this all over my lips now. You can see they're really pigmented, which I'm actually surprised about. I wasn't necessarily expecting these to be that pigmented. I don't know why. I actually really like these. And normally when I try something that's like super gimmicky, it's normally the packaging that sells it more than the actual product. But yeah, I actually really like the actual product, which is cool. Oh, I just ruined it. Just shoved the lid onto the heart. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. So I know that Lossy London used to do lip liners. I don't know if they still do. I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm just gonna use my Doll Beauty um, Boss Lady. Why do all these products have to have such like cringe names? Well, I'm just gonna use this lip liner just to deepen it up a bit on the outside. Look at that. Ooh, that's very like va ba boom. I really, really like that. I'm gonna add, because I said I would. Actually, what I'm gonna do, kiss the back of my hand to take off a little bit of like the creaminess, basically. And I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of the liquid lipstick and try and blend that in with the lick, lick, lick stick. Lick stick. I'm gonna try and blend that in just to lighten it right in the center. I mean, it needs a little bit of tidying up, but I love that little combo there. Like, I, I'm actually 
freaking obsessed with that combo there. Might be a new favorite, just saying. Okay, now we need to move on to eyes because I already feel like this video is so freaking long. Uh, so let's do eyes. And I think I'm gonna do this palette here because I've tried out a lot of, get it? A lot of Lottie London's like eyeshadows. I've used the Honey Bee one. I've used this one here, which is called Fired Up. And there's also like a cool tone one. Is that this one here? Yeah, this one is called Chocolate Box. And then they also have a different one that I tend to use like most days I've got upstairs in like my dressing table. But this one here is called Totally Mint. And if you're new here, hello, hi, we're gonna shake the hands again. I know some of you guys have missed that. I love green and blue eyeshadow. I love it. So I'm gonna do something with this. I'm not gonna do like a full tutorial because like I said, I feel like this video is already pretty long, but um, we'll still talk through a few of the different shades and stuff and I'll let you guys know what I think. But yeah, I feel like we need to try this out. Okay, so I've just primed my eyeballs with my P. Louise base like I always do. So we're gonna go in with this guy. I think what I wanna do, cause everything's like fairly neutral looking. I think I'm just gonna go all in with like these two shades here, especially and do like a dramatic, cause I've like lifted my eyebrows more than normal. I think we're just gonna do like a heavy ass like wing. What's the word? Just gonna pluck it out of the air here. Like a graphic eye. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of this shade here just to kind of like get everything going. And I think these do actually have shades on them. I'm just, I just shoved my finger in that there. This is called freeze. Just getting that in my crease. You probably can't see anything, but it should help me blend everything out in a bit. So I'm now gonna go in with this shade here because I think if anything, I wanna kind of like blend this color into the outer corner. So I'm just gonna start off with this color here called Minty. Okay, I'll take it. Move around my contacts a little bit while I'm applying it, but just ignore that. Like obviously it's like a pastel color. It's not gonna be the most pigmented thing in the world. I'd give it like a seven out of 10. Give it a solid seven. I'm gonna take this little angle brush and I'm going in with the shade Chill, which is this slightly more bluey color. Ooh, it's a little bit dusty, but there's a lot of pigment on there. So I'm gonna focus that on my outer corner and then just start filling that in. I could sharpen it up in a second. Oh yes. I'm gonna go back in with the same brush and then I'm gonna go in with a shimmer. So I think I'm gonna go in with, what should we do? This one, this one, this one, this one, needy. I'm gonna go in with this one. And this is called a matcha mood. I actually hate matcha. I don't know how people drink it. I think it's disgusting. I'm gonna lay that right in the center of my lid and I'll just sort of like blend it out as I go along. So like that added a bit more oomph to the eye there. Tiny bit of fallout, but nothing too crazy here. Quite like that. So now I'm gonna go in, just cause I obviously said it before, I'm gonna use one of these shades. I think this one here as like a little tiny bit of like a powder highlight. Hopefully this looks okay. Haven't even swatched it yet. I'm sure it's fine. Anything shimmery on my cheeks works. Yeah. Obviously it's probably gonna be a little bit more glittery than like a normal highlight that I would use, but that color's pretty bang on. That's actually really nice. Like honestly, that's actually better than the glitter highlights that they do. Just to mix things up a little bit, I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade that I was using like everywhere basically. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this as well, just to kind of ice it out a touch. Yes, bitch. Oh, I love it. I actually really like that super icy color. Right, so now we're gonna move on to liner. And honestly, Lottie London do so many different types of liners. Like they have like these stamp liners where don't know if you guys can see, you've got like little hearts on there. They do like little like music notes, everything like that. I wanted to try out their stamp liner. I've tried out some of their other liners before, but I've not tried out their stamp liner. And honestly, I'm not normally into these stamp liners because I don't know, man, they're just kind of like, they're not quite it. Like they're kind of there. If you struggle with liner, this might help you. I don't like, let me know if any of these sort of liners do help you. But for me, I feel like I could do something a lot sharper than this liner here. It's just a little isosceles triangle here. Science, bitch. But I'm gonna try it anyway. And I think what I'm gonna do is do like a little bit of a line around here because this one is double-ended. So it's got a nice little fine nib and the liner itself is really, really black, like the actual felt tip. I personally prefer this one, but I'm gonna try this and see how it ends up. And if it sucks, don't blame me, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just like try and angle this up and stamp it. Am I filming? Please tell me I'm filming. I'm filming, right? Okay, good, because I can only do this once. Uh, stamp. Yeah, see, look. 
And you go, see that? Didn't really do anything. I could do that a lot easier with this sort of nib. Like maybe it helps some people, but I've never found it to help me or anyone really. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. Okay, cleared up the liner a little bit. I might zhuzh it up a little bit in a second, but I just realized I have one of these eye paints. These are called the Eye Foils and it's in the shade Savage. And this is really pretty. It's like a nice, almost like pinky rose gold color, depending on how you look at it. So I figured while we're here, let's just add some of that as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just pop it right into the center of my lid. Try not mess up my liner too much. That might have been a bit of a mistake because it seems like it's kind of taking off my eyeshadow a little bit. But we're gonna try and make it work. Oh yeah, that's really taken off my eyeshadow there. I do feel like that looks worse, but hey, we tried it. So now, last but not least, I think I'm gonna go in with this mascara here. This is called their Super Fake Mascara, which I've tried out before. And from what I can remember, I did actually really like it because it's got one of those little plasticky wand, so it's gonna give me loads of volume. I'm probably gonna add falses in a bit as well, because I feel like this look probably needs it. Yeah, just gonna apply some of that. Oh, oh yes, I remember this mascara. Oh yes, that gives so much volume and like depth to my roots. Like, I'm a hairy bitch, okay? I've got, I've got the length. That's what she said. Sometimes I just want a little bit of thickness around the base. Shut up. That is what she said, but also sh Shut up. Okay, so, hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other eye, mascara, all of that, probably clean up my liner a little bit because that was dodgy as hell. And then I'm gonna pop on some lashes because I feel like this look kind of needs it and I will show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, this is the finished look and I'm really happy with it. I've never done a full face of Lottie London. Obviously I've tried loads of their products before but I've never done a full face, but I'm actually very, very impressed with it. I actually love this eye look. It's obviously a little bit out there, but I am kind of into it. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Let me know if I missed any Lottie London products. I'm sure I've missed a couple here and there, but um, let me know if there's anything you guys want me to try out in future videos. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for today. I would have to say, okay, top three. Oh, top three, I don't know. Obviously, one of the top threes is the powder, but you already knew that. I really, really like the skin tint as well. And then the other product, oh, I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i I'm gonna say the, I've got so many products in front of me right now, so I don't actually know where it is to like pick it up, but the brow pen, I need to like learn how to use it a little bit better. I've got a good feeling about it, but to be honest, I actually really liked a lot of the products that I used today. So, oh, and the lipstick, the um, Cheeky Kiss lipstick. I actually really, really liked that. Wasn't necessarily expecting to, but that's like a little honorary mention there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. And if you do follow me on TikTok or Instagram, then I will be posting a little reel or like makeup video picture, something to do with this makeup look. So if you would like to show a little love over there, I would appreciate it. And of course, guys, if you do wanna check out Damascus personalized, customized skincare, then make sure you click the link down below and use my code, which is currently on screen now, to save yourself a whole load of money in the first month. Honestly, it's such a game changer. So check it out in the description down below. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you. Let me know if you guys want me to do other like, full faces of brands. I'll try and throw as many products on my face as I possibly can in one video. Um, but yeah, that's about it for me today. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.